All right, here's a quick peek at Lineage OS 22, which is based on Android 15 on a first gen Walmart on 4K streaming device. And the code name for these devices um, is Depender. Anyway, so let's take a look. Um, so the home screen is pretty standard. Um, honestly, I don't pay attention to this stuff that much and I don't know if there's anything here more functional or useful than how it was in the factory state, but it's there if you want to poke around. Um, it's got all of the standard live channels that most of the streaming dev devices have. Um, and I've got similar functionality built into my smart TV. So it's neat. And if you were to add this to a dumb TV, I could see where, you know, it would be useful. I get some of these channels on my ATSC antenna anyway. So, but, but I guess, you know what? It's built in and it's there. I installed Netflix, YouTube, and Kodi. Let's look at some nerdy shit. All right, this is based on Android TV OS version 15. The current devices from Walmart slash on are based on Google TV OS, um, if that matters. I really haven't dug into the differences. Um, and I've used Google TV OS devices. For my use case, they're the same, but you can Google that if you're curious. I, I really have not been that motivated to look into it. Lineage OS version 22. This is an official build of Lineage OS, so you can go to the Lineage OS website, drill down under devices, Walmart, you'll see this device, and there's all kinds of good stuff to read up on. And that's, I followed the instructions, and I'll put uh, the steps I took when I upload the video. I'll put that in, in the video description. I didn't have any issues installing it, but I was coming from Lineage OS 21. So it's less work than, you know, a factory device. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Let's look at storage. So we are down to a little over three gigabytes of free space left after installing only three apps. It goes quick. This is the same drive I've used in prior videos. It's a one terabyte XFAT formatted external drive and it's connected directly to this device via a standard cheap Android OTG adapter cable. It's powered by a 5 volt, 2.4 amp generic um, power supply. I'm amazed it works, it does. Uh, normally I would think you would need a powered USB hub, but this drive is very, very low powered, which is nice. Let's go back. Okay. So Cody created this shortcut automatically. This is the external drive. The test file, it's a public domain, very large file, 7.65 gigabytes. Obviously not FAT32 format. And there we go. I always love looking at old cars. And it's funny because like, I'm old enough that when I was taking auto shop in high school, 
we mainly worked on cars from the 60s and 70s. That's Those were the ones that a lot of times we bought them from the original owner. Um, and of course they were older cars don't last like newer cars do. So they were all beat to shit, but lots of nostalgia. I always love old cars anyway. So Netflix does work. I'm not going to show it because of my past issues with copyrighted <coughs> content. Um, it works. Uh, I got a generic error when I installed Netflix that this was not a supported device, but it works fine. Um, random comments. I don't know how useful this is for most people. Uh, the Depender devices support NTFS for external storage out of the box. As far as I'm concerned, that is you know, completely interchangeable with XFAT for my use case. Um, I get that XFAT is probably more useful for people that aren't window centric. I personally don't care. Um, and I don't really think that there's any major increase in functionality by moving to a newer version of tvOS. So is this useful for most people? Probably not. You get bragging rights for being the first person on your street to have Android 15 on your TV though. Right? That's priceless. Um, if you have a depender and you're able to unlock the bootloader and you like flashing um, Lineage OS, yeah, it's probably worth doing. I don't know what the state is of a depender that has, has downloaded uh, the factory updates. If that, you know, disables the ability to unlock the bootloader and such. I don't know. And if I get... A used appender, I will definitely play with it and see if you can still put Lineage OS on it just because. But there you go. An Android 15 based operating system on a cheapo $20 streaming box.